one to session six. Apology for session five. Uh, I did record uh, session five, but it seems that uh, there was a problem in the recording and uh, I lost all, all of the recording and I realized that after I uploaded session five to YouTube and it seems that it was just a few seconds. So what I'll do now is to repeat that uh, session five uh, or and then uh, basically introduce you to the next steps or basically uh, to the next bits. Now, uh, let me start just uh, setting up uh, the project. And was, yes. Then we have to activate Scala V environment. Okay. <clears throat> then let's just run the um, server. And once the server is running, I want to initialize uh, the thing, the town three or town four, sorry, that we use as a map. In the meantime, I want to start to use to do code. Okay, yeah. So this is basically the template uh, that you should see now in Moodle and you can use it from there. And so it's just simple as, as we have seen. It's basically that treat uh, data and just treats two, two images basically. It uh, reads the raw image and the semantic image and then it visualize them or render them. <clears throat> now, um, I think we stopped uh, there at the dilation part uh, in, in our last session. And um, just let me copy that here. I want to run Python. Template. Okay, so here in this case we had we have basically uh, the raw image and the semantic. So we are not visualizing the dilation yet. Which is um this code so okay yeah so as a recap basically what we have done is we have segmented um the semantic image which means we select only the pixels that uh, uh, belongs to the street or to the road markers and these pixels they have uh, basically blue uh, or sorry green value yeah green value is 234 uh, as we have seen 
and this project is what we have selected to represent uh, the road marks. So the color map is it's PGR, and the middle one is the green, which is one here, and it's equal to 234 as specified in color documentation. Now, after that, what I have done here, because I have just sliced uh, the uh, the two-dimensional image, uh, of course, it's here you will get kind of uh, basically binary image or black and white image because uh, we only took the road maps with uh, their value would be equal to 255 and everything else would be equal to zero. So here I'm just uh, uh, re uh, basically or, or I'm correcting the image dimension again or the matrix dimension again to make it uh, an image because it should have three dimensions all, all, always. And this time I'm just adding a new axis there to two masks. I will use uh, these two masks later. Uh, the first one, which is the mask B, uh, actually it's used here with the dilation. And as I said, dilation is a kind of logical operation. Uh, it is under morphological operations. Basically, those are called and we have uh, erosion and we have dilation and we have opening, closing, like they are a combination of some uh, erosion and dilation uh, uh, basically steps. And dilation is used to increase, I would say, the thickness of uh, lines, of binary lines mainly, which means black and white lines within an image. So we wanted to increase the land markers, so this is why we use dilation. And if I now run this, On the right set of file. No, I haven't. Okay, so now <clears throat> we see uh, the dilated lanes. We can see now they are much thicker, so which means now we can use them or process them uh, better because uh, they are thicker than the original rows or land or lane markers there. Okay, so this was the step of the uh, dilation and uh, the next step is basically uh, the region of interest step. If we, um, if we look here basically we have three let's say polynomial curves that are that they basically belong to uh, the lane markers, right? Now the three polynomial curves, two of them are important for the vehicle, which are basically the two that this vehicle is driving uh, in between, which means, for example, this one on the left and this one on the right. In this case, for example, we have one, two, three, four, five. So I don't want to uh, consider all uh, for my safe driving car. I want to filter out uh, the ones that I need, which basically they, which are, as I said, left on, or they are on the left and the right side of the car. So for that, there is usually create this kind of mask that is the region of interest, and this mask usually is like triangle mask, uh, which is basically has uh, three corners, so three vertexes. One is here, and one is there, and one is either in the middle of the screen or a bit lower than the middle. What is the role of this mask? Everything that outside <coughs> outside this triangle would be filtered out, and uh, 
and everything inside basically uh, or basically would be filtered and everything inside would be you can see and you can process now now here we use the semantic image which is the generic semantic uh, uh, sensor that is used to, to detect many labels as we, as we know like uh, we have street markers we have the road itself now uh, we have trees we have cars and so on now you can train your own semantic segmentation and in this case it will not be uh, it will be only binary classification that detect for you only these for example uh, line markers or lane markers uh, that are on the left side or on the right side of the car and filter out everything so you can train theoretically a deep learning model uh, that save us these steps that directly filter out everything and just keep uh, these two uh, basically curves uh, for number curves uh, but here we don't have that so we will need to have some uh, processing steps uh, which means first we need to segment this lens then we need to dilate uh, the image and then we need now to add region of interest uh, mask and this basically <clears throat> uh, the next step that i had in in session five that we missed which basically this here so what are we doing here? Uh, first step, we create an empty image. So zero like, which means first of all, here it is an array, uh, like zero array, which means all the values would be zero or equal to zero. And the shape would be equal to the raw image, which means it's three dimensional. And the number of uh, rows and columns is equal to the raw image. And number of channels is also equal to the raw image, which is here three because we have RGP or PGR. Okay, and what we get here uh, basically we call the shape function and we get back the height and the width of this image. And now I want to create this triangle that I talked about. And what you see here basically in for our triangle, we have of course the uh, the one, two, three, uh, four, uh, basically points there, and it starts from zero height. So basically, this is the the position of the first point, which is zero at the x-axis and height at the y-axis. So this is basically uh, the x and this is the y, which is the left bottom corner of the image. Okay. Then we have the second uh, point. So we have three points and two points. The second point, not four points, the second point that has these coordinates where the X is the middle point of the screen. So uh, it is the width over two. And uh, regarding the Y value is uh, basically at the height over two minus 10, which is a bit higher, I would say, or a bit up uh, than the uh, the middle point, okay, of the screen. Then here we have the top, or oh, sorry, the bottom right, uh, which is the third vertex or the third corner of that triangle. So now we're defining this triangle, and here we are creating field poly, which is basically we are now uh, creating white triangle and filling it with 255. Actually, this I think would not be white because we are filling because this is uh, masked to three dimensions. Uh, let's check again. So here I want to go to visualize the, the triangle. Triangle mask.
Okay. Uh, I wanted to show first. Oh, mask two. Sorry. This is actually what you get after you <laughs> use the mask. So this is basically our mask. And it is just triangle, as I said, that is uh, has three corners, one here and one here and one a bit higher than the middle point uh, with 10 pixels. Now, what we would like to do here is, as you see, we have a logical and function, which is bitwise logical and, which means it will basically text uh, each pixel in the mask, uh, uh, in the dilation image, text its value. Uh, Consider it here as a binary, of course, because we have and, which means if the value is bigger than zero, then it is equal to true or one. With the mask here, and if this pixel is on, or this pixel has a color or has a value in the dilation image and in the mask too, then it will have value or color in the mask image. So what we are doing is, uh, we are taking this one and this one, and we are doing and operation between these two, and only the lanes that basically are located inside this uh, uh, mask would be visualized in this case. Of course, it depends. This is basically uh, up to you now in your project to select which type of mask you want to use, what size, maybe 10, maybe 20, maybe you don't use triangle, maybe you use some complex shapes. Uh, this, of course, is up to you and your innovation. Now, and of course, you can, as I said, you can train a deep learning model to avoid these, tricks, these steps. Uh, now, the next step that what is here, as I said, we go to dilation and then I can take uh, uh, the sorry, the and operation. Then I take this mask, put it here. Then we would see what we have seen uh, before. Uh, it's basically now it will filter out everything and keep the uh, the lanes that are of interest. Which is here. yeah. So now it's basically. Uh, it's still not that good, of course, because you can see here, actually, we don't see this complete lane. Now we can see them. So it is until it's really centered somehow, you can see that you can see now it's this and this one. And the others are not, uh, we don't see them that much. And I said, this is up to you, uh, which mask you can use or which mask you would like to use to and to get really the correct lens that you need. Okay. Now, this is our conclude this session with that. Uh, this is basically the completion of session five or actually Carla five. And then I'll uh, talk in the next session about how then we use this filtered uh, mask to actually detect um, my path or detect the vehicle path. Thank you.